Hey folks, and welcome into another edition of Inside the Hornet's Nest. My name is Jeff Beavers. There's my co-host, Miss Donna Bowles. Donna, who do we have today? We have Chelsea High School senior, Elliot Gage. Welcome, Hello. Elliot. We're so glad to have you today. We have some things to talk to you about. First of all, class of 2020, we <laughs> are talking to seniors and we want to know, first of all, um, what you were involved in your senior year, we know, uh, wrestling. So tell us about wrestling for your senior year. How was, how was wrestling? Uh, it was great. I'm really going to miss it. Wrestling was definitely one of the things that really impacted me most in high school. And uh, this year, the wrestling team got a bunch of new coaches. And the program's like really starting to take off. And uh, it's just really great because when I started wrestling in uh, middle school, it was really just starting. And now it's really starting to boom. And the program's going to take off. So I'm going to be excited to where it, see where it goes in the future when I'm able to come back and visit. And this year, I had a, I had a pretty good season. I uh, I wrestled really great all year, and then uh, at state, I got fifth, which is it's pretty good. But I think I should have done better. But I'm still happy with it, and I'll look back on it. And I'm I'm proud of the way I wrestled, and but I'm really gonna miss it. It's sad to be a senior. <laughs> Since the uh, wrestling season is over with, uh, you know, and and you've been quarantined like the rest of us. What have you been doing to stay in shape? I, I know that uh, you work out at the same gym where I work out, and unfortunately, yes. we haven't been able to uh, to go and, and work out. But are, are you doing anything at home? What, what are you doing with yourself? Yes, sir. Or are you just sitting uh, around getting fat and sassy? <laughs> <laughs> like definitely, <all> definitely <laughs> not getting fat and sassy. Uh, I've been. We were lucky that uh, we have some family friends that had a weight set and stuff that. They never really use it or donate. They just gave it to us basically, and it's it's really nice. So I've been using that, and of course, since I'm going into na the going to the Naval Academy, I've been doing a bunch of push-ups, sit-ups, and stuff like that. And of course, I've been uh, I've been keep my social distancing, but I've been trying to run through the neighborhood and stuff like that because I'm going to be having to do a lot of that this summer. So talk about uh, that. Talk about talk about you being accepted into the Naval Academy because that is far and above what you know it's one thing to be accepted into a college of your choice but to be admitted into one of the fine military academies that we have talk about that procedure what you had to go through and what it was like to actually get the letter of acceptance uh yes sir uh it was definitely a long process uh it's definitely not a normal application uh, if you don't know, if you're going to a service academy, you have to get a congressional nomination. So not only do you have to apply to the school, which is just like a regular college application, it's long and you have to write essays for that. You have to apply to the congressman. And I, uh, they recommend that you apply to all three, which I did, which helped a lot because I was lucky enough to get all three nominations, which really helped me getting accepted. And uh, you also have to have, you have to, be, uh, what makes it really hard to get in is you have to be in good physical shape. So you have to take a physical test as well and score high on that. And you have to be like perfectly in medically shape too. And a lot of people get like ruled out because of medical problems. And it can be stuff from like your past, like it's, it's really tough. And I've seen a lot of people that they're super qualified and they're great people, but they have a medical issue and they can't get in. Wow. it's tough it's a wow. tough application that's, that's that's very impressive so what uh is there a, a period there where you know the waiting part is what's what's the hardest or and, and where were you uh and what were you doing when you found out that you were accepted into the naval academy um Yes, the waiting part is definitely very hard because uh, most people don't find out until some people are just now finding out now that they got accepted. I was lucky uh, that I found out, I think, January 21st, but I finished my application in September. So I had to, I had to wait a really long time. But uh, I, yeah, I was lucky to get a uh, letter of assurance, which uh, you just get in the mail or you get by an email. But when I found it, found out it was really awesome because uh, 
Uh, first, I got a I got a phone call from uh, Congressman Palmer uh, congratulating me and telling me I was accepted. And then uh, my mom also came to the school. I was in school. I was in first period. She came to the school and uh, just like started congratulating me. But it was it was a great experience. <laughs> That's awesome. That you. is yeah. awesome. I, I, it, and I want to tell you, it doesn't surprise me one bit because uh, I, I mean I just know a little bit about you and just uh, the kind of young man that you are. Um, you're also, you've been involved in Peer Helpers and um, I know that organization at Chelsea High School. And I just know that you're just a stand-up guy and, but not everybody can get into the Naval Academy. So I know not just Chelsea High School is proud of you, but Chelsea is proud of you. Um, so congratulations from all of us on behalf of Chelsea. So, gosh, we're so, so proud of you. Um, so, tell us really quickly, if you can, um, when you found out that you weren't going to be going back to school, you were not going to see your friends. I mean, this literally happened from one day to the next. Like, you left school not knowing, like, you didn't know you weren't going to see them again. How, where were you and how was that? Uh, that was tough. Uh, the thing I really remember is just after prom. So most of my prom group was still together. We were still hanging out. And then we just heard that school was going to be canceled for like three weeks. So it's just pretty crazy that we had our last day at school like that Thursday. And we didn't even, yeah, we didn't even know it was our last day. So it's just pretty tough knowing that like most of my class, I will we'll never be in the same, like, same building again. So it's pretty crazy. It's pretty hard. It, it hasn't like fully hit me yet, but I know it will and it's starting to, so but it's definitely sad. So I have one more question and we've been asking some of the other students this. If you could um, speak to one person at Chelsea High School, whether it's a coach or a teacher or maybe another student, and you could tell them one thing, you could leave one thing with them, who would that be? And what would you say? Well, uh, that kind of makes me think about like uh, the Chelsea High School Golden Apple Ceremony, uh, where we get to give like an award and a speech to like our favorite teacher um, or just administrator, or coach. And uh, I know I've known forever that I'd give mine to Coach Butler. Uh, he's the head wrestling coach and the head middle school coach. So I'd like to just have one more good conversation with him before I leave June 25th but I'm sure that probably won't happen in person, but I just tell him how much I appreciate him and how much like, he's really uh, like helped me get to where I am today. And I know I wouldn't have my work ethic or most of the skills that have made me successful today without him and him teaching me. So, but yeah, I really miss him and he'd be the first person I wish I could talk to in person. And um, I know I'm gonna really miss next year. Are you gonna try to play any sports. I know, I, I think from what I understand that everyone, or and correct me if I'm wrong, is required to play a varsity sport, but are you going to do that? And what's your plans uh, in the Navy? What do you want to do? Uh, and, and do you want to make this a career? Yes, sir. I definitely think I want to make a, a career. I would love to stay in the Navy. It's just, it's just a great atmosphere. The two days that I got to visit for my candidate weekend, I got to stay with some plebes, which are freshmen. At the Naval Academy, you're not called freshman. You'll never hear that. You're called a plebe, then you're a third classman, second classman, and a firstie. But uh, I got to spend some time with them, and they're just unbelievable people. You'd think they're 25, but they're only a year older than me, so it's crazy. But uh, And yes, everyone is required to play a sport, either if it's intramural club or a varsity sport. So I would like to uh, try to walk onto the wrestling team or the heavyweight rowing team. The wrestling team just got a brand new coach and he's amazing. So that'd be great. And, but obviously that's very tough to do, but heavyweight rowing, it's also tough to walk on, but primarily most of their people are walk on. So I think that'd be very fun. Wow. Or powerlifting. I know <laughs> you see me in the gym. I love working out. So I think that'd be fun. You're a class act. Uh, you have just the time that uh, that I got to know you through our other interviews and with Chelsea Living. Uh, 
uh, you've been a class act. You're very well spoken, very well mannered, and your parents deserve a huge pat on the back uh, for that because that is, unfortunately nowadays that's unheard of, but uh, you're going to do great things uh, at the Naval Academy and throughout your life uh, just by the type of person that that you've exhibited uh, right now in, in front of us. So we we certainly wish you the best. Thank you yeah. so much. I really appreciate it. So Elliot, don't forget about the little people in Chelsea, okay? <laughs> no. No Are you going to be a fly boy? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'd really like to go medical, but uh, that's very tough to do through the Navy, through the Naval Academy. But I mean, I'm going to try for it. But being a pilot would definitely be cool. I, yeah, that's definitely on my list to look into. But. It would. If, if you're <laughs> ever a, uh, if you ever become a pilot, you got to buzz the tower. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So listen, uh, you know if. We wish you the best going forward. Uh, we hope that you guys are actually able to get some type of a graduation ceremony. Um, and if not, you know, make the most of the memories that you have. Uh, and just know that everybody here in Chelsea is, is proud of all of you guys and, and we're proud of you as well. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to talk to me today. Really enjoyed Absolutely. it. Thing. not a yeah, problem absolutely good luck and again we're praying for you and just thinking about y'all and we expect to see big things from Elliot Gage <laughs> thank you so much all right buddy <laughs> take care <laughs>